Hello trainers, I'm going to show you where to catch all the evolutions out in the wild. If this video helps you, please like it and don't subscribe to me. Alright, so I am going to be using meals through this whole thing to increase my encounter rate. It just makes things easier and faster. So first off, we're going to start with Jolteon. And I'm going to show you where, here on the map, this guy here sells you an encounter uh, increase for elec uh, electric type Pokemon. Of course, you can also make sandwiches, but i rather just go to the restaurant and buy the encounter bonus here. I know there's one level, two level, and three levels, but honestly, just getting one level is enough to make them appear every time for me. So go ahead and buy this thing with the big crab in it. All right, also, just so you know, if you press right on your D-pad, you can see your bonuses. I didn't know that for the longest time. So now I got the bonus for electric. All right, so now we're going to look for Jolteon. Um, I'm going to go where those two rivers meet in the habitat and the, the lower habitat. I'll show you where I am on the map. All right. I'm right here. I'm going to go in this general area. I uh, did check over here earlier, but there's so many Raichu. I think they're like out competing the Jolteon. They wouldn't show up. So I'm going to go in this direction. Hopefully there's less... Um, you know, just less Pokemon, like Thunder uh, Lightning Pokemon to compete with it. All right, I found the Jolteon. I found two of them. I'm going to quickly show you where I'm on the map. Okay, it says I looked at their Pokedex entry a little more, and it says they like being near trees. So make sure you check near trees. Hey, where are you going? All right, and now we'll be able to catch Jolteon. Let's see what level he is. 35, not bad. All right, time for the Flareon next. I'm going to show you where he is on the map. These are his locations. I think I'm going to focus either below the mountain there in the middle or on the far left-hand side. I haven't decided yet. I'll show you when I go there. But first enough, we need to go here. I'm going to show you where I'm on the map again. I'm in this town by the desert. All right, this restaurant right here. Okay, the red one. It gives you a fire encounter bonus in one of the meals here, this one here, the tofu. So go ahead and eat that first, and then let's go find that Flareon. All right, I'm going to go here to this uh, part of the map, and we're going to see if I can find Flareon quickly. Okay, it says Flareon lives in mountainous areas. Hopefully it's not scared of the rain. I'm going to start climbing mountains and seeing what I can find. All right, here's the Flareon. I'm going to show you where I am on the map. I'm just right here. It says in its uh, Pokedex page it likes um, mountainous areas. It's a pretty mountainous area. I'm going to show you one other place that I think it's easy to find a Flareon, just in case you can't find them in this area. All right, I believe you can find a lot of them right here. And since I still got a little bit of my uh, fire encounter, I'm going to use it. Yeah, like I thought, there's a Flareon here too. Uh, two Flareons. Yeah, much easier in this location, though. I think it's a little further along in the game. Okay, so you can go here, too. Just along this ridge. Make sure you have your fire enhancing uh, encounter thing. Alright, so let, next let's do Vaporeon. Here's a restaurant here that sells you a water encounter bonus. Alright, so I'm just in the main village. This shop has no name for some reason. No big deal. So the first meal here gives you a water encounter bonus level one. All right, we're going to keep things simple for Vaporeon. We're just going to head to the lake. I think that'll be the clearly easiest place to find it. All right, I've been swimming around for about two minutes. I just swam from that island and I already found a Vaporeon. All right, I'll show you where I am on the map. Though I don't think it matters. I think you'll just find them anywhere in the lake, really. So... All right, let's see what level it is. Level 53, so it's going to be a high level one for you. All right, let's do Sylveon next. I'm back in this area again. This store here has also got a fairy uh, encounter level one, I believe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, encounter power fairy level one fruit punch. So let's go ahead and get that and let's find ourselves a Sylveon. All right, so Sylveon is near towns and cities. Um, so I'm going to check both those locations and see if I can find them. Let's start with the top one first, which I believe is just a town. It's probably this town. Okay, so I'm just going to check around the just general area. All right, I did a full lap around this town. Couldn't find anything, even though I had the encounter power. 
I'm just gonna go here and try that very far left corner there um, and see how that works out. All right, I think I found one right away. There it is there. All right, again, I'm gonna show you where I am on the map. It says it's right here. I did an encounter bonus and sure enough, it's there. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Level 44, not bad. All right, so let's do Espeon next. I'm gonna show you where I am on the map for a bonus to psychic catching. All right, I'm over in this normal, the uh, normal gym town. There's a place right in the front of the play uh, of the of the town, right beside the Poke Center, that sells churros. All right, so who wouldn't want a lovely churro? It gives you a uh, counter bonus, a counter power to psychic. All right, so let's go ahead and get one and look for Espeon. All right, this is his habitat. He appears throughout the day, very rarely seen. So, uh, I'm going to check the lighthouse area in the very top. I bet you that's the easiest place to find him. So let's go up there and see what's going on. All the way up here, okay? I guess this is the closest flying location. Oh, look at that. Two of them right off the bat. Okay, this is the easiest one so far. Okay, so this is where I am on the map. If you want Espeon, you'll find him right away. Just get yourself a psychic bonus, that's for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and catch one. Alright, so let's go after Glaceon next. I'm going to show you where I am on the map. This is where you can find an ice boost, so you can uh, ice encounter, so you can go ahead and find them much easier. So go into this restaurant, and you're going to buy uh, this one right here, Ratatouille. Alright, so she's located in the snowy mountains area. So I'm going to go to the kind of the top uh, right hand side there. So I think it's more flat areas around that area, so let's go into the mountains now that we got our encounter rate up and see what we can find. All right, I found Glaceon. I'm going to show you where I am on the map. All right, I was right here. I flew in right here and just walked around this cliff face and I found him pretty quickly, about five minutes of searching. I think if you even got a higher level ice uh, encounter boost, you probably even have an easier time finding him. Let's see what level he is. Alright, level 41. Let's move on to the next guy. Alright, for the last two Pokemon, I really cannot find a restaurant that uh, will give me grass or dark enhancements. I've checked every restaurant. I swear I have. If you find a uh, grass uh, encounter enhancement or um, a dark one, Please go ahead and leave it in the comments so other people know where it is. But I'm just going to go ahead and make a sandwich out of in picnic mode. I'll show you what sandwich I make. All right, I'm going to make a great smoky sandwich. I uh, guess an encounter power for dark. These are the ingredients there. So these are all pretty easy ingredients to find. If you have trouble finding the ingredients, just keep them. Just remember that each town does sell different ingredients. So make sure you check. If you're missing one. All right, so let's start looking for Umbreon now that we got a dark enhancement. Um, so you should find him in caves. Appears at night, so might have to wait till it's nighttime. That's a shame. All right, so I found him. I think an easy place to find him is actually this area right here. So fly to this area, this Pokestop. There's a big cave in here, but luckily enough, you can go in there, and there he is. Umbreon was just chilling right by the Pokestop. Nice. So just go ahead and go catch it. Level 37. Alright, so let's get the last one. Alright guys, now we just need to make a sandwich to increase our grass encounter. Though every sandwich that I looked at required a certain ingredient that is only found in this store. It's this item right here. All right, so go ahead and just get what do you need. I'm going to grab a few. I find it interesting that's the only place. There's a few items here that can only be found here, which is kind of interesting because I go to every store and I buy every item, so all my sandwiches are available to me. So make sure you come to the store. I'm going to show you where it is on the map in a second. Because, yeah, this is the only place you can find wasabi, too, I believe. Very strange. Well, you know, Game Freak is a strange company. Alright, so, 
There we go. This is where I am on the map. Go get those ingredients. Alright, so I'm going to do it with the level 1 encounter since I did level 1 encounter for the rest of the Pokemon. Just in case you haven't unlocked the uh, level 2 encounters yet. So we're going to use this sandwich right here. Okay, let's hit it with the gold pick too. Alright, so next we're going to start looking for Leafeon. Looks like he's located in near trees, very rarely seen. Alright, so he's in the sim similar locations as Jolteon. Let's go ahead and head over there. I had better luck with Jolteon in this area. So I'm going to try this area again with... What's this one called? Leafeon? Yeah. Oh! I accidentally ran into one! Alright. He's level 35. I'm just going to show you where he is quickly. Alright, so this is where I am on the map. Close to that town. I had a feeling he'd be in this general area. Alright, so let's catch him. And he's level 35, too, which isn't that bad if you want to get in one nice and early. Let's hit him with a quick ball. 